There we go. There we go. Great with Live Podcast Show. Live on speaker. Episode 1, Season 1. Welcome everyone. And Planet Earth Talk on YouTube. Now, I'm just hoping that everyone is doing fine. And getting through this COVID-19 crisis. Right now, it's nothing ready to do. But... Ready, you got to pray, you know. And all I can do is try my best to get this thing right. And hopefully the camera get better and adjust to the um, lighting. But anyway, um, can you see me? I'm clear to you? Good. I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to get through this, you know. I'm ready to go back to the movie theater and all. I'm, I'm ready to do this, you know. This this thing just came, snuck up on us. Like, out of nowhere. You know, this is a, like something Hollywood would make. A plaque, a plot that Hollywood would make for a movie, you know. Anybody remember that movie with Denzel... Dennis, um, Dennis Hoffman and Cooper Jr. Jr. They call it Outbreak. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Cooper Jr. 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 Something like that. The black guy to play in Boys in the Hood. Anyway, and Duff and Dean Hoffman, the white guy to play Rain Man. Um, they played in that movie called Outbreak. And everything in that movie this is going on right now. They shut down every day. The military came out to help. New York is in crisis. California shut down and everything. No, no movies. No TVs. No TV show production. No movie production. Everything just came to a halt. I mean, whoa, you know. I, I I don't I, I really don't know when this gonna end. You no, know, I'm I'm going crazy, you know. But I'm I'm working at my job, you know, working the healthcare field and you know, cleaning the building and everything. And it's been like up and down in that in that situation and all. Um we did have um some people was there, and I don't know what can, can explode this or not, but but everything went well. We got through it, you know. My my, my bosses and all they 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 just great people, and they just got all the all the staff through it. Um, and even though some people was afraid, but God bless them, and I hope they come back. I'm just hoping they come back because whenever they got, I'm just, we need them, you know. We need them to come back because it, it only lasts for like a week and a half. And I would stay with those people would have just stayed the ride through. But they made that decision and we just had to, to go with that decision that they made. But a lot of people out, out of jobs, um, been hearing it all on the news, the unemployment, everything. It's just unbelievable. Um, and I'm not going to really split on this this president, you know. And this, I'm just not going to lean on him, but we need a new leader. We need to shut down the Republican Party and change and chop some heads off. That's what we need to do. We need to shut it down, shut them down, and go straight to the Republican Party and just start kicking asses out the door. Sorry, sorry you too. Sorry I'm swear, but that's how I feel. And don't get me wrong, it is some Democrats on on, on the Democrat side that need to out the door too. 
because they dislike the Republicans. But the Republican Party, <laughs> oh my God! And when we get a real president, maybe this country will get back to being the leader of the world, of the free world, and the rest of the world. And other, and other countries will probably say it's about doggone time, you know. And that's that's when I don't know when we get a real president. And we haven't had a real president since four years. For four years, no real president, no real leadership, none at all. Um, and. That's what I got to say about that, you know. And whoever see this at the White House or whatever, <laughs> you know how to reach me. You're the government. Um, but it was nice that them, all, all the, the part, both parties got together and get everybody a, a nice little check, you know, because this wasn't nobody's fault, you know. Not even... The person who supposed to be our leader it wasn't his fault either. Even though some people like to blame it on him, it wasn't his fault. Okay. Um, we we all was shocked about it. Even though he kept on getting on TV saying it's a hoax, it's a hoax and all. And his friends at Fox News was silent and was kissing his tail, saying it was a hoax until. Things got real serious, and that's when he got serious, and then Fox Fox News got serious. <laughs> now, tell me where that all fit in. Um, it's just <laughs> crazy, man. Um, first, I got to shout, send out a shout to my nieces and nephews, especially to my niece and nephew who's doing the video on YouTube. I love y'all videos, um, and keep keep the dream up, okay? Keep doing them videos. I'm sure somebody, after all this crisis is over, somebody gonna pick up your video and look at it. Who knows where it might take you? But just keep posting those videos, like I'm doing on my talk show and all, and you know, everything. Um, and somebody gonna pick you up. Don't give up on those videos. Keep making them. Because I watch them, okay? And I'm sure a lot of other people watch them too. In the family and outside the family. And all I can say, you're doing great. Keep up. Keep keep making your family videos. I don't want to get no names out because I'm live and all. And I don't want to get y'all last names and stuff out. But y'all know who y'all are, alright? Um... And if you want me to, I can I can do it. Um, ask people to come to your um, um, YouTube channel and all, you know, watch the videos and everything. But you know, until then, get permission from y'all. You're gonna be okay. But anyway, uh, just want to say about this crisis thing about this Trump fellow. Uh, he he just. It's really no words to say about him, you know, and why he didn't take action as soon as he heard about this. And they say it on the news, they call it fake news because um, MSNBC and CNN really get on Donald Trump. They really get on his case, and that's why he called it fake news because they really get into the story. They deep in, they deep and go into that story. And all, uh, and I love um, NSNBC and um, CNN because they got the facts, you know, and they got all of it. They they get to the detail. You go over Fox News, whatever Donald Trump say, Fox News want to say. <laughs> but I've already told you what news to watch, you know. Now, you watch local news, I would say watch Channel 11. 
that's the best news in Baltimore right now. Sorry, Channel 13. I know I'm a switcher. I used to watch Marty and, and Don, but times change. Um, <laughs> and whatever news you watch, whatever news you get from, just be proactive, okay? Just look at the facts and look what's going on outside and everything. Now, like I said about this movie thing, it seemed like that everybody watched, ever watched the um, cartoon called The Mask. Yeah. It used to be a cartoon called The Mask. And the Earth, it used to be in the future. And Earth can't be, I guess it was like some kind of atmosphere thing. And nobody can't breathe no more. And they all had to wear masks. And it's a whole bunch of movies and cartoons about this this era right here. So that's my next um, detail. Do you believe the unexpected, the the, the the underworld? You know, the the strange and unnormal. I mean, people who believe that aliens from another race and all the visit people and stuff. The black men, the men in black, um, the men, the shadow men, um, go go to coast to coast with George Nern. He's on George on George Nern on, on coast to coast on iHeartRadio. Listen to him. He got all that stuff, and I'm hoping to have follow his footsteps. You know, he's one of my favorite radio stations on I iHeartRadio, and I hope iHeartRadio keep him. His name is George Nern, and he's in Los Angeles. The radio station's in Los Angeles and all, and they talk about the supernormal and, and all, the strange phenomena. Now, what I'm saying about this is, it's kind of odd that everything was just going really good, and then one day we woke up, and we just found ourselves in a Donald Trump black cloud. I'm, I'm going to put Donald Trump name on it because they like to put Obama name on stuff. So I'm going to put Donald Trump name on stuff. So that's why I'm, I'm putting his name on down gangs. Okay. So. Um, and I'm calling this the Donald Trump virus. So they call it Obamacare. I'm calling this the Donald, Donald Trump era. The Donald Trump downfall era. And I'm not saying it's his fault and everything, but his name get the pit on here, you know. Cause everything come out of his mouth is negative about the, the greatest president of all times, you know. The greatest president of all times, but everything come out of his mouth is negative about him. But when you talk negative about him, Donald Trump, shut up, face news, make up news. You give me do that. You don't do that. And so, <laughs> you go on the late night show and look up some of the um, videos they got on the late night show. They can do it way better than I can do. Donald Trump better than I can do. But, <laughs> but if you watch Donald Trump live, because he always be on he always on TV now. He's not sitting home, sitting up in his um, White House office where he hired at and tweet now. He he got to get up and try to get this thing organized. He got to be a real man now because he can't sit down and tweet you know, no more. He got to get up on that podium and act like he and act like he's a president. And to me, he ain't show no leadership yet. And I, I, I just don't know about him, you know. Now, Paul is the um, entertainment industry. industry. Um, like I said, all movies and all TV shows is shut down. And that means. 
your favorite TV show, new episodes, won't be until it's safe to go back and be normal again. I don't know how Hollywood is going to do this. Because some movies have been written, you know, already been written and ready to go be filmed. Now we got to go around wearing face masks. So I don't know how the writers and producers are going to do this. That's go with TV shows too. The scripts have been written. And now they got to go back and try to fit all this in. <laughs> oh man. Everybody just stopped the date. And just think how every person on earth life just changed and just a snap of a finger. And now, like I said, the super normal, everybody said this might be a punishment from God. Those who believe in that. And you never know. Look at all the things that's going on. You know, listen to the Bible, earthquakes, more other things, and war, talk about war. I mean, and sort of this stuff happened in joint in the Jesus time too, you know. I mean, outbreaks like this happened during Jesus time. And it also happened in the 1800s. I don't know what happened here. Now, some people say the government, CIA, and the B BBK, or whatever they call PP PKS, whatever... Um, um, Russian top um, CIA is well anyway some say the Russians did this some say this is China revenge on Trump the um, trade the, the trade war and this is their revenge on, on us but China didn't want all the Americans to suffer he was just trying to get that main person, you know. So I'm saying, so I'm saying that, you know. Um, I'm just saying, this is, um, I mean, the government did things before, back in the 30s and 40s and 20s. I mean, look at some, go on YouTube and look what they inject people with back in the 30s and 40s. Look up viruses from the government. And people and the government ingesting them with it. I mean, you'll be surprised what you see. I mean, these are old videos. These are old videos. I mean, back in the 30s, 40s. And the government inject, injecting people with this stuff. Um, uh, hey, guys. Don't take it from me. Just look it up for yourself. You know. Look it up. And just. You know. <laughs> Don't. Just. I mean. The government did things like this before. I mean. And that's exactly with black people. I seen these videos. And we're going to get into this. In more, in more episodes. Because I'm going to bring some of these videos up. And let you see him. I'm gonna try to. Right on here. I'm gonna try to. Um, and when I get the big computer, I know I probably can do it. But this little one, it's like a traveling computer with me. You know. And I just have to do this one until I get the big one. But it, it, it's those who believe the super normal and the men in black and. The shallow people and the lizard people and all that stuff that they they might did this. I'm with you about seventy two percent. You know, the government doing this, the guys of people who believe the government did this, I'm with you ninety seven percent. 
and and the accident thing it came from China and it was an accident I'm like hey might have been I'm with you with 90, 90% with that like I said we don't know what started this we know it started from China but we know that the lizard people is near China between China and Russia we know strange things that happen between that that period and we know Area 51 we know Raymond Mountain we know Charlotte Mountain and a lot of other black ops areas between there and there's a lot of other special op, black ops government facilities that you don't know about in Virginia and in that region and boy it's it's, it's unbelievable I, got to, I still can't believe that I gotta wake up can't go to the movie theater can't go to the grocery shop goes grocery shopping without wearing a mask I was get, I was this this close, this close, and getting my driving license, doing my behind the wheel test. I went there at the driving school, had an appointment for four days. They're ready to do my behind the wheel test, and they just shut down. Before I even get started, they shut it down. Now I would have passed. Who knows? Because NBA was already shut down, so they shut it down. They shut the schools down too. But I was waiting for my I'm driving instructor. Never showed. I didn't. I didn't know that they shut it down. And I was sitting there in the rain on Rice Town Road, fifty three thirty five Rice Town Road, right by Hilltop Shopping Center, that yellow yellow house, and that far from the NBA. I was waiting for them to come. Never showed up. What the heck was going on? Text them, email them. I just gave up, went home. So, guys, I told you back in the other episodes that I was doing on my talk show, I told you I was going to do it. But look what, look what happened. I can't believe it. <laughs> I just can't believe it. You know. Just get ready to, to do my behind the wheel test. Finish the school behind the wheel test. Then go to the MVA. To do the behind the wheel test. Now once I do that. I'm, I'm done. I get my um, premier license. And then have to wait six months or something like that and after that I'm a driver I'm a full length driver you know I'm already saving for another car so family whoever see this you better believe it don't 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 hold your breath because I am saving for another car you know I still got my USAA um, everything insurance um, thing and I, I'm saving for another car. And my credit score, when I first started at um, Stella Mars, my credit score, my credit score, store, I keep saying store, my credit store, store, credit score was 509. Now it's 6.30, So, it went from 5.09 all the way up to 6.30. And I knew it was coming. I got me an unsecured credit card. I paid the bill every month. Every month, I paid the bill. And I just went, I just saw things start changing just like that. You know, 
Gotta tell everybody that I was scared when I was going to get a divorce and everything. I thought everything just going to shut down and just collapse right on me. And I'm, I was done. You know, I, I was scared. But somehow God just reach up and say, it's not over, son. It's not over. What you sitting down crying for? Chest out, head up. Start walking. And that's what he said to me. You know. And. Look at me now. Back online. Doing my. Um, Earth talk. Planet Earth talk. Way with our podcast show. Doing that live. Um, in the middle of a. Donald Trump crisis. COVID-19 Donald Trump. Era. And I'm going to call it Trump, COVID-19 Trump error. There you go. COVID-19 Trump error. Something like that. Anybody got any ideas to name this? This yeah, Start. Just let me know. Okay. Um, when you do see this live, just let me know. I, I would love to see the comments and everything. I want you to go to um, YouTube, hit that like button, um, listen to me on YouTube, follow me on um, um, speaker, and this, um, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Facebook. Um, This will be up live, and I will uplink it, and... For the for the music, I haven't paid the um for the license yet. That's why you ain't seeing the music yet. You know, go with the flow. Don't worry, it's still it's still my the theme song theme song for the show. You know, um, and also hopefully I can get special guests like my support team and family and everybody to come on the show and talk. Okay. I hope so. Um, maybe you might see Ashley and Donald sitting right here. You know. Or you might see Michael, Ashley and Donald. Or you might see the whole group. And Jessica, Michael, Myra. Ashley and Donald. And that's what I'm hoping for. But until then. The first episode. And the first Earth Planet Earth talk. We almost finished, you know. I almost went through a whole half an hour on this. Now I've been playing my video game, Dread Left Auto Online, and I'm, I'm I'm addicted to that game. But I got other games too, and I got an Xbox. Now everybody wanna how how I got all this money? Well, child support, the money that they refund me, you know, when they was taking it out my check. When they stopped them, stopped the check, stopped the unpayment, my job kept paying them, and that money built up, and I got two nine hundred dollar checks, six hundred dollar check, and then found out that the government is going to send you twelve hundred dollars a check soon, and what I'm a little confused about. If that's the check that you get with your um, tax return, or that's separate. Or uh, they just giving you that twelve hundred dollars because of this crisis, and you get your tax return, or all of that together. Now, if that's so, that means I already got my taxes too with the stimulus thing. But from the um, state, I haven't got it yet because. I just submitted this now, but I know our Nancy said she would take me to get it done free before this thing broke out, and I was just ready to call it before this outbreak come and before they shut down everything. See, I had my papers and everything ready, you know. Matter of fact, had my folders, my paper. Um, see, 
and everything ready. And this is the IRS said that I owed them. Um, didn't want to show you that, but. <laughs> well, anyway, had my um, W-2s and everything ready to go see Aunt Nancy. She was going to take me to um, get my taxes done. But no need to now because shut down. And I had to get it done before July the 15th. That going to be... Soon you look around, it's going to be July the 15th. Next time you blink your eye, it's going to be set December the 15th. You're probably going to say, what the heck, you know? But I'm just praying for everyone on the planet Earth. Everyone. Not only for the people that I know or people I'm related to. Everyone. Including the person in the White House. Praying for him to end his so-called people. Now when we get a real president and some real Republicans. You know. Who got sense and everything. Then this country will be back to leadership. And then something like this ever happen again. That real president, no matter if he's Republican or Democrat, will be ready. And I'm sure that that re next Republican president would not make mistakes like this one. <laughs> I think they're taking a lot of notes from this one. And not telling them about it. Because if they tell them about it, they get fired. You ever know that? Every time Donald Trump find out about somebody who went against him, a week or two later, you find out that they walking out the door. <laughs> I thought I never lived to see this. <laughs> this went from great president to worst president, and then a black cloud came over us with this president. Oh boy. But we won't get we gonna get through this because and I'm just hoping everybody keep their distance. Do what the people say, you know, um be proactive, you know, be mindful and with whatever you do and then just you know, we all gonna get through this, okay? I know that this is a time of our life right now. We can't do nothing but watch Netflix and Prime videos and stuff like that. Sit on our couch. But my advice is, don't sit on your couch and watch movies and TV shows and screen movies and stuff. Move around, get some exercise, okay? Go outside, get a fresh air. If you have to just walk back and forth between your house. Don't sit down and just be lazy and all. Those who are at work, do something pro. Um, just do something creative, okay? Go on YouTube or Facebook and do something creative. Just find some time to, to, to move, this, move this crisis, okay? Because we will get through this, okay? Every single person on this planet, in this country, will get through this, okay? Shout out to the family that lost people during this crisis and all. Everybody is praying for you and your family and all. And we we wish you the best and all. And our prayers go out to you here at the um, broadcast show and Planet Earth Talk. Especially me. Um, those who do have it. You're going to make it through, okay? You're going to get to it. You're going to get over with it. And you're going to be back to work. And you're going to be outside laughing, drinking beer with your buddy and laughing. And sooner or later, we're all going to be in the park and at the ball games and stuff like that. Just talking our butt off about this. And laughing about it. Laughing about it. They're going to be making movies about this. Believe me. It's in the works. 
Um, and <laughs> don't don't believe me, okay? But don't be surprised. You'll see a movie about this. Um, I, all I can tell you right now is. I just hope that everybody just just take care of themselves. For my family, my mom, dad, Bryant, Lisa, mom, nieces, nephews, and my cousins, and everybody who want to see this and all or who watching this, um, and we'll be watching this and hopefully. Be a lot more people watching this, and and I know this show is going to take off because I'm I'm not giving up on this show, okay. And I'm bringing people on the show to talk to and all and everything. I'm talking, and right now can't bring nobody on here. Can't bring nobody in the house. Got to keep our distance and all. Um, just on everything, everybody, I'm doing fine. I'm making it do this, and if I can make it through um, Tim and Tim and Tanny era, I know I can make it through this. Now, when I say Tim, Tim used to be my support person. Hi, Tim, if you're watching. <laughs> but if I can make it through them two. Especially that ex, the ex thing that I was married to. I can make it through that. I definitely can make it through this. You know, still going strong. And if the ex is watching, I'm hoping that you see me really good. Because I'm doing great. Ever since you left, there haven't been nothing but great things. I'm not giving you. I'm not giving you that much talk because that just give you a lot of attention, and I don't want nobody. I don't want to bring no attention to you. You know, I want to leave you in back of me, not in front of me, because in front of me it's nothing but light, clear skies, and God's hand. In back of me, you just kissing my behind. And you back there in that dark tunnel. And all I can say, you don't have my wishes, you don't have my blessings. But I hope that you find somebody that really loves you. And that person is not on earth. And I hope you get on your knees and ask them for forgiveness. You know. So not going to give you the pressure to talk 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 about you on my show because I want to leave you behind me but as far as Tim he did a lot for me he's my support person he used to be my support person so I'm not going to put him down much as I'm going to put you down and as far as Michael I'm your father man I'm family whether you look at it or not okay if you see this video Pick up the phone and call. You say you don't want to be like me. So pick up the phone and call. Don't be like me. Call your family. You know. Because. I'm going to get my dream. You know. I'm going to be a writer. You know. It's not going to stop. Your mom. Diane Brown. And all the people who told a bunch of bullcrap and the bullcrap that she did haven't even scratched the surface. So, son, whenever you at, you need to call. You need to come and see your your sister Ashley and your and your um, brother Donald. That's blood. That's family. You don't want to be like me? Pick up the phone. After this thing is over. Let's so all three of us go out for lunch or dinner or something. I know you ain't doing nothing. I know schools are shut down. 
So don't try to say that you at school and all that stuff. Alright? Keep thinking what your mother think pin in your head that I'm 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 slow or something, okay? But I know she the one is she the one left behind, not me. Sorry, I'm talking about your your person so much, but that's the way I feel. All I want you to do, Michael, Michael Messino Whitlock. Your last name is Whitlock, W-E-D-L-O-C-K, Michael Whitlock. That's right, I'm telling the people, pick up the phone and call your family, the father. Now, I know I don't call Nancy and them and all that stuff, but they know that I'm okay. They, they, they want me to call them, but they, they already know I'm okay. You know. You know. And hopefully they'll see this video and all. And this live screen. And also they seen this. On um, on live screen. On the podcast show. But you need to stop past and come and see your dad and everything. I'm not that busy, you know. All I do is go to work and come home now. Things shut down, son. So don't give me excuses saying I'm, I'm busy this and that. Because I know if you are, that means you ain't trying to be a doctor. You out there doing what you don't supposed to be doing. Pitting, pitting the real, you know. You're a man now. So you, you're going to get hit hard with like a man. Because life has beat you down. You got to be a man to stand up and take the punch and shake it off and keep going. That's what I did. I'm still going. Now, you want to be like me? Shake it off. Be a man. Stick your chest out. Hold your head up. Keep going. You know? You will see the difference from what family I'm from. What family... Your female other person is. What family she came from. You know. Two uncles in the military. A brother in the military. And a lot of other people. In, in my side of the family. And on the other side of the family. In the military. So. That should give you a clue that you're a military child. Oh well, integrate from a military child. You part of a military family. Just put it like that. You know. And that can give you a lot of benefits, you know. I mean my brother came down and helped me out and you know. My mom and dad got me on and showing some stuff. Come on, son. You say you don't want to be like me. Don't want to make mistakes like I did. And I don't want you to do that either. Come on. Pick that phone up. You don't have to come. Pick the phone up. You know? I got two phones. You know? I know I'm bad too, but I don't call on Nancy and them. Let them know I'm okay and all. But I, I will, I will call them. Um, right now I'm just taught, taught at, taught a hacked. But I wanted to start this show, you know, and just get things going. But I know I'm bad, you know, not calling nobody and everything. But you don't have to do what I do. And don't try to say you your mom said I'm not you're not my son, you know. It's too late for that. I spent my money on your pampers and stuff like that. So that made me your father. <laughs> the bull crap that I went through, that made me your father. And you're only one. 
<laughs> so, yeah. Pick that phone up. Now, um, I'm, this is for mom and dad and Lisa and them. I may as well come up there. And when I get my car, this COVID-19 thing just pushed everything back. And I know it should have did it a long time ago, but my finances weren't right and all that stuff too. But when God started blessing me with those checks, I mean, I paid paid the rest of the um, school off so I could get my behind the wheel thing. And all I'm waiting for is for this to be over. Waiting for the governor of Maryland. To open everything back up. And I don't know how soon. My learner's permit is going to expire in August. So hopefully. I still don't know. They're going to give me an extension. Because this is not my fault. You know. I was ready to go take my test and everything. Soon I passed. I was ready to submit it to MBA. The next next week. Be at MBA. Taking the last test. I was ready to go. You know. And all I have to do is just get through this. And get that premier license. And all. And that's it. You know. Um, This show will be live every Thursday. Including Planet Earth Talk. And Koi Willock Podcast Show. Um, like I said, once this crisis is over, you'll be seeing my son, Don Owen and Ashley. I'm going to have a special guest um, guest couch and guest chair. It's going to call it um, the Hollywood Star Chair. Hollywood Guest Star Chair. And that's right. The chairs that you see on the, um, Hollywood, on the um, movie set, that's the chairs I'm going to have. And that's going to be my guest stars. I'm going to host the show. Ashley and Don are going to come out. Help me host the show. Um, and I'm sitting in my living room at this apartment right now. Don't I'm as blessed, but hopefully in about two years I'll be in a, a more better apartment and get have to take a shout out to Henry and my staff at Richcroft and my service coordinator because they. They've been checking on me and everything, emailing me and everything. And Henry, as you're watching, I got Zoom, um, my service coordinator and case manager. Y'all watching? I got Zoom. I'm already downloaded on this computer, and I'm gonna be doing it on the big computer too when it comes. Um. So whatever we need to do and all. But I am I'm still working. Like I said before, we lost a person and I'm working overtime. I'm even working on my weekends that I don't supposed to be working on. Working my weekends. And they not forcing me. I asked. Okay? I asked to work. So I wanted to work. I wanted to work the weekend. Um and just to get that extra, get out the house and get that um, extra pay and all that stuff. And but just to get out the house, more more importantly, be chopped up in the house all weekend. At least I'll have some some way to go. And um, I'm I'm all ready for that to work the um, the weekend that I'm supposed to be off. The Saturday that I'm supposed to be off. I'm ready to work that Saturday. This this coming Saturday. Um, like I said, my credit, I'm doing great. I'm, I'm actually doing great. I'm Nancy, Robin, and y'all see this? I'm just doing great. Okay. Um, I'm start going to get the phone number. The house phone is going to be the, the phone for this show. And soon I get the word. I'm going to have guest stars to start calling the phone. Okay. Um, just let me get a little bit more bills paid. And get a little bit more stuff organized. 
Now, next Thursday, I don't know the show is going to go up or not. And the podcast show is going to be on Sunday, on live on Sunday. But I'm going to do this in the podcast show every Thursday. Okay, until everything is back up. Everything is going back to normal and everything. And and then I'm going to do both shows Thursday and, and Sunday. Now, you got to catch the shows around 7 p.m. Okay? 7 p.m. Alright? I will go live with both shows. But on Thursday, on Thursday, go live. Now, since this is new, I might forget, you know, but I'll put it in my notes that go live every Thursday now. Since I already started episode one of both shows. Um, pass this along. Go to YouTube. Watch this. And everyone who's subscribed to my channel, watch this. Um, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. And you'll get a notification and all new shows come up. Including Planet Earth Talk. Go to um, iHeartRadio. Go to all your streaming formats. Because I will be on this talk show and all. Like I said, this might not work. Um, I don't know is it I got it recording or not. But I know this is working. But as soon as I get everything running and good and everything, it will be working. Um, whoever watching, I see that one person, whoever watching, thank you for watching. Um, please put that thumb up, um, put a light next to that, and let's get this thing started, because this is going to be your show as well, and I got a lot of things for the next seasons ahead. Once again, I'd like to thank the speaker, um, for letting me do the podcast, I'd like to thank you too. For let me do it live and let me pick um, live screening and music up. All the people at YouTube, all the people at Speaker, um, including the people who got the license to go with the flow. Get shout out thanks to them. Uh, to all my family in Delaware, my sister, brother, mom, and all, nieces, nephews. Love you. We'll get to see you soon. We'll get through this. And I'll see you soon. And I will have that license. To my family here. On Nancy. And all. Don't worry. If we don't get out of this. I will call you. Let you know I'm doing good. Okay. But right now. I'm coming home. Jumping on that video game. And take my bath and go to bed. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Um, I know I should be calming y'all, let y'all know I'm okay, but I'm okay. Um, and of course, once again to Michael, be a son. Don't hate on one parent and love the other one. Because that parent did wrong too. Okay? If I go to hell, she going with me. Simple as that. Okay? Because she left you in the foster home so she can do what she want. And you'll be hearing more of the truth about this as I put it out there. You can get mad or you can call me. Whatever you want. Myra, if you you, you too, you see this? You were told a lot, a lot of junk about me? Not true. No alcohol, never did drugs, never smoke. <laughs> okay? You want to know the truth? You're almost a woman too. Find them, find Rich Croft, ask them for my phone number, pick the phone up, give me a call. Jessica, I know you know the computers too. You out there? You know the truth. 
You know you used to play around here. You know this place is clean all the time. No. <laughs> and for my beloved Dino and Ashley. I really thank you for sticking by me. Especially Ashley. And all. And Ashley and Dino. We will be back to the movies again. Thank you for my um, support staff. Y'all know who y'all are. Um, everybody. And see you next time. On Planet Earth. Talk. And Koi Would Like Podcast Show. And this show. Will get better. As we go along. But we got to take small steps. Before we take giant steps. Everybody be safe. Let's get through this COVID-19. Trump COVID-19. And live long and prosper. Okay. And may the force be with you. Donald. Ashley. Jessica. Michael. Myra. And I love you.